Today we will receive an interesting inquiry. A user has text in a regular text application which contains placeholders as you can see here. The user wishes the phrase express to auto replace all occurrences of the placeholder with a custom text input. No problem for phrase express. I highlight the entire text and press a hotkey defined in phrase express. Then I'm prompted to enter the replacement text. And now watch Phrase Express inserting the original text with the placeholders replaced by the text I just entered. Now let's check how this is done in Phrase Express. Here you see the main phrase. It's triggered by the hotkey Control Alt R in this example. Of course, you can use any other hotkey as well. Then I configure Phrase Express to show the parameters for illustration. Now you see all macros. Phrase Express interprets macros from left to right and from inner to outer macros if they are nested. So this phrase begins by copying the currently selected text in any application into the clipboard. Then Phrase Express stumbles over the parse macro, which is a secret macro actually, because it's not documented, but it's very powerful. But let's start with the insert clipboard macro first, because it's nested inside of the parse macro, so it is interpreted first. Insert clipboard actually just pastes the clipboard for further processing, and it is received by the surrounding parse macro. And the parse macro actually just outputs the text and replaces anything in the text which may trigger an auto text in Phrase Express. And you can do many things with it. Imagine if you have text which you could auto translate by existing translation phrases. Like you have the auto text of a German word and the phrase contents is an English word. So Phrase Express can replace this automatically. In this example, however, I have an additional phrase and it contains an auto text and the auto text equals the placeholder in the text I've shown earlier. So whenever the text which is passed by Phrase Express contains three stars, then the macro in the phrase contents is executed. And in this example, the macro prompts for a user input. And after the user enters the user input, it's replaced with the three stars. That's it.